Good morning, everyone. I am about to have one of my classic breakfasts. I'm gonna call it the brekkie bowl, even though there's nothing breakfasty about it. I can have it for every meal of the goddamn day. A lot of my meals that I'm gonna show you today are interchangeable, but yeah, let me show you how I make it. It's very, very simple. Probably the most time consuming aspect of this meal is steaming the broccoli. I chopped off the stem, and now I'm gonna break apart the crown. I'm chopping all the little bits of broccoli into bite-sized pieces. I didn't know you could actually eat the stem either. The stem is really good. It just tastes like broccoli as well. And now I'm gonna wash this. I'm gonna put it in my salad spinner and give it a rinse. So now that we have our clean broccoli, we're gonna put it inside this pot. I have this like steamer thing. So I'll put a pile of that and then I have my boiling water ready. And I'm just gonna like pour over it. I'm just gonna eyeball. While we wait for the broccoli, I just like to have things ready. So I'm gonna start cooking the egg. I guess this is like, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory on how to cook an egg. <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna let the egg fry. So now we're gonna prepare the rice. I made some brown rice yesterday night and I just heated it up. And um, now we're gonna add some soy sauce. You can use that coconut aminos. I think it's supposed to be like a healthier alternative to soy sauce but we're not doing that here. And now we're gonna add sesame oil. And this makes everything taste so delicious. It gives it like that nutty, aromatic flavor. So that looks really good. And now we're gonna add some broccoli. Broccoli is the best vegetable of all time. For the final step, we're gonna throw an egg in there. I think I started making this dish in college. This is like a recipe that has stayed with me for a very long time. You could also add sriracha. That really enhances it as well. You know what, your phone? I don't think I had to get my phone without being on the camera. But yeah, I, know. I know, but everyone knows that we live together. Yeah, but I just yeah. thought I'd give you guys a bit of space, you know. All right guys, it is time for lunch and this next recipe is just like a staple of mine. It's called taenjang jjigae. It's a Korean soybean paste soup and it tastes absolutely delicious. I make this at least once a week. Like I need it in my system every like four days. So first you're gonna wanna get a small onion. I'm honestly just gonna use half and then I'm just gonna kind of dice them. I think that's what it's called, but you just make it into like kind of chunky sections. You don't need to make it too thin. When I was in college, I would put like the whole onion in, like a full large onion, and then it would just be like an onion soup. So you don't want that. The onions are just like a side thing. They're not like the star of the show at all. So I feel like the water's almost ready. You're gonna get a pot and you're gonna grab some dried anchovies. I just got this at the Korean Mart, but I'll just say like 10 anchovies. Like this is good enough. So now I'm gonna put it in the stove and we're gonna add some hot water. I'm just gonna eyeball it. It's really hard to say how many cups this is. I'm just gonna let it boil. As it's boiling, I'm gonna add some minced garlic. So I'm gonna get like a big spoonful of that and I'm gonna put it in the soup. I'm going to peel one large potato. So now I'm just gonna chop the potato and kind of dice it into chunky bits. So now we've got a zucchini. I took off the edges and now I'm going to kind of quarter them. I like to make my zucchini slices pretty thin. If you don't like zucchini, you can put like other vegetables in, like you could put broccoli, you could put... I'm trying to think. Zucchini is like the main one, guys. So now we're gonna prepare the soft tofu. There's a lot of moisture in here. You're gonna wanna drain that out. I like to get the soft tofu, but feel free to get the medium, the medium firm. I just like the texture of the soft tofu because I don't need to use my teeth when I chew it. It's just like a nice mash. And let's also put this in a bowl because then I kind of feel like I'm on a cooking show. If you don't like spicy things, please do not add this, but I am chopping in a serrano pepper and I'm just gonna start chopping it. So now I have four stalks of green onions. Cut them very finely. So this is gonna go in the soup and also it's gonna be a garnish for the top. She is boiling. This is the key ingredient to this soup. So I'm gonna add like a spoonful of this. And then I'm gonna just let it dissolve in here. And I kind of help it, you know? I kind of break it around with my spoon. We're creating a nice like base for all the stuff we're about to put in. So now I'm gonna let it boil for another like five minutes or so. So now that it's finished boiling, I'm gonna personally fish out all the little anchovies with my chopstick. And honestly, this is not the most efficient thing to do, but I can't use my strainer because I don't wanna fish out the garlic. Okay, so once you've removed all the anchovies, add the small onion. Ooh. 
And now I'm gonna add like half of these potatoes. Oh my God. I'm always so scared to do this part because I don't want to splash on me. Ah. I'm actually only gonna add half of these potatoes because I realized that I cooked this in a very small pot. It's hot. Oh, it's good though. Seasoning's perfect. So the onions are looking nice and translucent-y. The potatoes need a little bit more work, but it's okay because it's still gonna be on the fire. Okay, so now it's time to add the zucchini. I'm gonna just plop it all in. Ooh, I chopped a lot of zucchini. Okay, this is gonna be a zucchini soup. I'm gonna put in my serrano peppers, and hopefully that spices things up here. Am I even gonna have room for the tofu? Ooh, yes, okay. The potatoes are definitely soft, and uh, I think it's time to add the soft tofu now. Let's see how much of this I can realistically shove in. Ha! Just stop being afraid. Just freaking put it in. It's fine. Okay. Can we put all the tofu in? And I want. Okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna put all, all of it in. And now we cover this. Oh my gosh. Okay, this looks ready, man. Now that it's almost finished cooking, we're gonna add the green onions. I'm gonna put the heat down and it's ready to serve. Oh my gosh, this is exactly what I wanted. Um, I served it with a little bit of brown rice. Mmm, mmm, that is so tasty. This literally tastes like a hug to me. Chiki likes to watch me from that. Ta -da! So it's dinner time and I'll be cooking, yup, you guessed it, another Korean dish. This is called takgarbi and it's essentially like a spicy grilled chicken and it's so freaking good. I always order it at restaurants, but I thought, you know, maybe I can cook this at home. And once I had that epiphany, I started to and it's pretty bomb. So let's get started. So here I have two organic chicken breasts and um, I'm gonna start cutting it into little bite-sized pieces. So now I'm gonna get some butter lettuce. You can use romaine lettuce, but they're actually having like a recall right now, so I couldn't get that. So I got the butter lettuce and I'm gonna use this for my wraps. I'm gonna put this in a salad spinner and then clean that. And I'm actually gonna be Mincing the garlic myself this time because I want it to taste really good. Cut this as fine as I can without chopping my fingers off. So now I'm gonna get a bowl and I'm gonna put it inside. And this is where we're gonna start marinating stuff. So now we're gonna get a tablespoon of soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice vinegar. To add some spice, we're gonna get some hot pepper powder and I'm gonna use a tablespoon of that. But if you like it real spicy, you can add two. But your girl gets heartburn now, so even though she likes the spice, I have to kind of like mellow it out, you know? And honestly, this is the ingredient of the hour. This is the gochujang, which is red pepper paste. And honestly, this makes anything taste really good. We need three tablespoons of this. And now I'm gonna grab some pepper and add it into this mixture. Give it a, a good mix. All right, so now it's like one paste. That looks good. Add this chicken. So now I'm just gonna mix this all together to make sure that all the little pieces are coated evenly. So I've just transferred the contents into another Tupperware bowl. And now I'm gonna marinate this for at least 20 minutes. I mean, the longer you marinate it, the better it'll taste because all the stuff will start like seeping into the chicken. But, um, but yeah, like a minimum of like 20 minutes is good. All right. In you get. Goodbye. I forgot one critical ingredient. I forgot the onion. This is the onion that we used earlier today, but I was supposed to slice it and put it inside the marinade. We're gonna put it in as we cook it on the pan. There's gotta be green onions in here. I honestly, I could put green onions in anything. I wanna try and make a green onion soup actually. And then let's chop the rest of this onion. I mean, it should be marinating in the sauce, but it's okay. What can you do? All right, it has been 30 minutes later. The chicken is now marinated. And I'm gonna get some oil. Ooh. I'm gonna fry everything on this wok. By the way, shout out to Emily. She got me this wok for my birthday. It's truly one of the best gifts I've ever gotten because it can cook, man. And it's nonstick, it's amazing. It's from Sur La Table. Okay, so I think the onions are ready. 
And now I'm gonna just pour all this chicken in here. I like pepper. Mmm! It's ready! How many wraps do I want? You can be very generous with the wraps. I'm gonna put four for now, just for presentation. Can you hear me? Okay, I'm gonna put the chicken into this bowl. You cannot forget the green onions. Unless you hate green onions, of course. But I'm very generous with the toppings. And also, it just adds a nice splash of color. I like to eat it with some brown rice. First, I'll get some lettuce, and then I'll make a little bed of brown rice. And then I'll just top it on with a little chicken. And then you wrap it up, and you shove it in your mouth. Mmm. Wow.